know, like um, uh, Janet Jackson and right. Justin Timberlake, which I still think was planned. Absolutely. Because it was great, and we still talk about it, and she's gorgeous. She was gorgeous. Anyway, we want to talk about the misconceptions of guitar shipping today. Ooh. It is, um, it's a thing that comes up a lot. <laughs> yes. Like, and like, and how to ship your guitar, how to pack your guitar, and we're not going to do a video on like, you know, showing you all the pictures of how to pack your guitar. We've talked about packing guitars and things, and how to travel on airplanes with guitars before. So they're back there somewhere. But this particularly came to mind after Derek and I were looking at this um, this Gretsch Penguin, the limited edition Cole. Oh yeah. That one of our friends Cernder, I believe, has. There you go. He, he got ours. We were only allowed one. These are these are rare birds. No pun intended. Um, there weren't many out there. This one gentleman got one. Um, he got it for quite a deal too, if I believe. It was like discounted heavily for some reason. Awesome. Which leads me to believe maybe there was something behind that. But anyway, gets the guitar. The headstock is cracked. No. And now the decision is like, what do we do about it? And like, and then the form, like we were reading all the form comments, like, well, the manufacturer. No, no, I mean not the manufacturer. The shop should have packed it differently and packed it better. Or this is what it is. This, or now your guitar is only worth eight hundred dollars because it's worth half of this and X and Y and Z. And they had these like, it was like a Goodwill Hunting moment popped on the screen. The quadratic formula of guitar value. Qu quadratic equation is that? What yeah, it that's is? it. Quadratic equation. God, I have no idea what that is. That's why people don't let me do math things. <laughs> It's like our math is like. That's why I quit high school. I'm just kidding. Don't quit high school. I'm just kidding. Or do. <laughs> oh. It's like they say, don't do drugs. Or do. <laughs> it's like when people were talking about school shootings like the other day. It's like, I'm like, uh, I was like, just to do drugs or something. Don't like shoot everyone at school. That would, if you're, like, if you're, if we're making a pyramid. Yes. I mean, yeah. Or just like, yes, do just, drugs or just, is or just above. Like, yes. I, I'm not saying to do that, <clears throat> except for if that's your alternative. Or skip school or whatever. Just go somewhere else. Play hooky. Like make out with somebody, or try to, or play video games in a mall, anything. Anyway, back to shipping guitars. No, and anyway, so there, there's a, this big Twitter sphere. Of like the people are talking, this is bad. And like, so let's just break it down. Yes. How do guitars show up to us from manufacturers? In a box. Okay, in a box. In their case. In their case. Usually with the little inserts at the top of the case. Right. And the bottom of the case. And that goes across the board for all Fender custom shops, all Fender production. Yep. All Gibsons, pretty yep. much. There that is are no of USA right. build. There is no bubble wrap in the case. There's nothing extra around the headstock. There's nothing around the case because you want it to float in that box, just secure the top. You don't want the biggest thing, right? Is you the shake test? It shouldn't be shaking around. Like it should be secure in there. But otherwise, and then you just want the box. God, I almost went bad on that one too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you, you know, sorry. <laughs> but so, but that is literally how they come. From every manufacturer, and and that's just that's what it is. They're not detuned. Yeah, correct. There they're in, they're 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 shipped in tune. There's not bubble wrap around the neck <clears> on these Gibsons. No. There's not. It's now we might add some of that sometimes. Yep. But in general, we try to go pretty close to standard of how the guitar manufacturers ship the guitar. Yeah, we save the stuff and. In fact, a lot of times, if you get a guitar from us, it is in the box that it came from. If not, it's the same type. Like if it's we, a Fender, you yeah, get a Fender. Yeah, guitar you know. arrives, we take guitar right. out, we inspect it, run it through its courses, make sure everything works. It doesn't always. Um, if it's got to go back to the manufacturer, bam, packed up, ready to go back to manufacturer. If not, we're, if it's something we can fix right there in the spot, we fix it. Yep. We note it in the logs. The logs, that sounds so Star Trek-y. <laughs> Stardate, yeah. <laughs> um, um. God, God bless me. Um, no, but then, um, then the box is broken down, set for storage with the original shipping materials. But the, yeah, the little cardboard things. Now, the only time we do change that is if we feel that the manufacturer ships the guitar substandardly. Which yeah. sometimes I don't like how some of the guitars, let's say from Fender or any of the in any of the sort of made overseas guitars, might not have much right. packing. So sometimes I might put it in a bigger box well, well, within a yeah. small box. Sometimes even in the same box, by the time you rebuild them, it's like things shift a little bit. I'll think the guitar is a little loose just from the wear and tear of the first time it shipped. So we'll add right. extra material to like the top or the bottom just to make it snug again so that it doesn't I shake remember, I remember doing this for like, I personally did this for myself, this one box for a gentleman. It was, we shipped it like, it was in the state too. And he got it. I mean, I did like an extra pack job for it. And he got yeah. it like, I'm, he was really upset because it wasn't the way it was originally packed from the factory. I was like, no, no, I did that on purpose. Because I want it to be a safer shipping. It's only going an hour and a half away, but still, just let's just. Yeah. 
And, it, like, and it is a little different for things without a hard shell case. That, you know? It's a different thing. We're just, yeah. yeah. It is, and it's tricky because a lot of Gretches don't have... Gretches are awesome packed. How they God, do that. Well, because they have that little cardboard built. And we said, those are like gold. I know. I was like, don't get rid <laughs> of like, oh, God. And the little things <laughs> yeah. that hold the fender right. custom shops in, oh, they're the best. PRS just puts like a little bit of bubble wrap in between there. They, they, they do the least. But their case is also... Cases Kevlar. are frigging so heavy and like tanks, yeah. The case could take a tank hit, I think. Yeah. If they have the take a lot. most secure cases. But in general, this is the way guitars are shipped from the factory to most shops. Should go from most shops, repack in that way, to end user. And they shipped around the world that way. That's true. Not just so like the idea that this this penguin, now I've had penguins show up before. I've had two in the history of us having a where there was a headstock break. Because that is a big old headstock. It is a very large. Yeah, it just takes one, bam, good drop. A bam. And that's also the flaw of the design, connected with Gibson as well. Like it's just part of the design of that guitar. Is they could fix that tomorrow with some engineering to where it never they don't break anymore. But would it sound the same? Probably. Yeah, that's the but, answer. <laughs> that's um, the answer. But, 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 but it would change what it is. <clears throat> right. I mean, like uh, Gibsons and Fenders and, P and PRSs and Yamahas and Sirs. And, are these the most efficient, easiest playing instruments in the world? They could probably be something better called the Chapman Stick. And we wouldn't need guitars anymore at all. And he just passed away. He did. Just at the age of 85, I believe, sad. last week. Um, so if you don't know what Chapman Stick is, Look it up. Had, they're awesome. They're pretty cool. They're really cool. I would love one. Um, I think it'd be fun. It would be fun. Really cool. Anyway, side note. Um, yeah. yeah, so that, it, it is funny. Like we, the, the popcorn is this weird sort of misconception, like stuff everything into the oh, room I of hate popcorn. The popcorn. Not only is it obnoxious and annoying and a nightmare to get out, it just doesn't necessarily do anything sometimes. Not, not around a guitar in a guitar case. No, um, if it's a it raw guitar. such a mess. Oh my God, just get the Well, camera. for other things, like in big boxes when you got Multiple items. Yeah, sure. Fill I do like when you work in the factory and you get to be the person that holds the big tube that puts it in the boxes, though. <laughs> yeah. And then I've seen it happening before where like, they pulled it a little bit too tight and the whole thing above them falls and then popcorn all over the factory. That's fun. Do you know how hard it is to get up popcorn? Because you can't sweep it because it just goes, ooh, it like floats. You it's know, amazing. it's not, it's not, um, the, the pe peanuts as I always call them. But yeah, no. Yeah, I just, not good. Whenever we get guitar popcorn, I open them up outside next to our neighbors. Yeah. So it just, it's not our, so it goes everywhere. Don't do that. It's true. We it live is. in a very busy downtown. It's true. Historic tourist district. So if you're ever in, in, in a touristy mood, just come on down and see us. Come see it's, us. It's definitely a great town for, stuff. The, for the misses and yeah. the misters um, to go explore. Lots of places to buy knickknacks. That's true. It's true. Lots of knickknacks. You could, you could knickknack yourself silly. And lots of fancy restaurants. That's right. Great. But, um, really good restaurants. What else do you have on this like idea of this shipping and these guitars? I just, you know, it's just, it's funny... I think people's, I don't know, I don't want to say the wrong word, their preconception of what a good packing job should look like. You know, people get very upset sometimes. It, it, uh, not, not, I haven't had that directly with <clears> us <throat> except for that one crazy case I mentioned when we actually did an overpacking. Right, um, right, right. Which was the opposite of how I feel like it, it usually would be. But no, it, it is like the manufacturers usually have it down pretty good. Because if they were breaking, like, you know, hundreds of guitars, they would stop packing them that way. No, I have had, on a side note, I've had a few guitars show up. I'll say it from Fender, too. I'm just going to call it out. Like, we had a couple show up that were like, that were something was going on in the packing room. And well, yeah. No. Was like, I was like, why is the soft case not on the guitar? Why is this loose? It was just, it was like new dude at the package. It was like, bring your kid to work slash training day. <laughs> and, and, and it, it was just department. one day we received about 10 it guitars. It was so weird. And they were all goofy. And it's so never weird. happened since. No, no. I contacted Fender immediately, too. And they, I don't know if that dude got like moved somewhere else or like, it, it was funny. They were like, what's... I took pictures. But, but you got to remember, it's all about what I said. It's that guitar should be like secured at the ends, but floating in there. It's almost the argument of a hard shell case versus a really awesome gig bag. Because like in my mono cases or even my Gator Transit or the ultimate gig bag things from Gator, the guitar, you know, thing around the headstock, like the, the neck holding it in the bottom. And then the guitar is floating in there. So the guitar barring, is actually safer. Right. In that, so yes. barring, you know, running over it with your car. 
it's better than a hard shell case because it doesn't well, it absorbs the impact and on the guitar. Running over the hard shell case, your guitar is screwed anyway. That's true. We've had a gentleman do that to his D twenty eight before and it was he put it behind his guitar and forgot it was there and he backed up. Now he came here to buy a guitar though, so it worked out really well for everyone. Have you had like nightmare guitars come to you like packed really poorly? Yes. Yeah. But they're they're usually cheap guitars and it's so funny. It's worth it. Like I've had like guitars just come in like a box without anything. Or I know I've had like I've had like um a guitar I've seen a guitar ship without a box at all. Ugh. With the packing on the guitar. Like this this the thing. And I've seen it with amps. Oh my god. You know, Lord. just like with like an amplifier just shows up with like the sticker on the amplifier. I've clapped. How a is lot that even that. there's just that's just impressive. I don't know how it happened. I don't know what shipping company. I can't remember what it was. If it was USPS, <laughs> UPS, FedEx, um, or some other weird thing, not Coyote shipping because those guys are on point with them. Um, if you have check, if you needed to ship lots of guitars across the country in like a bulk thing, th that's a good group to work with. Really cool, cool team. I think they work with UPS a lot, but um, awesome slasher owned by UPS, uh, but, um, but great company. And um, yeah, so I've had some some funny things show up. I've had guitars show up that are broken. It's just that's just the nature of the beast. They're wood. It's lacquer. There's weather. There's different climates going from like Bozeman, Montana to, right. to freaking <clears throat> Vietnam. You know, a guitar might go with like, you know, dry, cold, humid as can be. But the vast majority of them make it just fine. They're tougher than we give them credit for, I do believe. You know what I mean? It's kind of like your kid. When you have your first kid and you think, oh, it's going to break. It's like a baby. Oh, that no. That is funny. And then it? you realize, no, no. You can, all sorts of things can happen. They can I fall, they can climb on things. First time parents, yes. like when they drop the pass, I'm like, oh, we got to go boil yes. it in water. Yes. Do you remember? I never I, did I, that. Well, I never did that. We're not, not that. that, but. We're not, we're my not. second kid, you're like, eh, it's fine, whatever. It's good. No, because I remember, even you're like, my, 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 some of my wife's like really good friends, like their, their first kids, and they're like, oh my God, just be careful. And like, you know, with the boiling of the past fire, I was like, I just put it right back in the mouth. Maybe not in our COVID times, but I probably still would because you know, my kids eat Build that immunity. Work. Build that natural immunity. It's fine. Look, guitars are the same way. The guitars, they're just not, they're not quite as fragile and breakable as yeah, we Most can survive it. Most can survive this um, That's it. So enjoy. Thanks for watching. Let us know your stories. That's right. Hit like and subscribe if you have not already. Click that bell so you don't miss videos like this in the future. Thanks as always for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time.